April 13th, 2020. A deadly EF4 tornado would rip through South Carolina. It would be the second deadliest tornado outbreak in South Carolina with nine fatalities. The tornadoes would cause over $15 million in damages across the state. Unfortunately for inmates at FCI Estill, the EF4 went directly through the prison. FCI Estill suffered extensive damage, including parts of the roof being ripped off and large gaps in the perimeter fencing. Conair assisted with the transfer of 934 medium security prisoners to USB Lewisburg, showing that this service can also step in in an emergency situation for evacuation purposes. November 1st, 1919, Officer Ivan Gates would take off from an airport in Alameda, California, with inmate James Kelly also on board. Kelly was convicted of carrying a concealed weapon and was due back in San Francisco. They would take a short trip across the bay with Chief David A. White waiting to accept the inmate. Although this was a short flight, this would be the first time an inmate was transported by plane. The chief would comment on the flight, think what a saving it would be if we can send a plane to Reno or Los Angeles for a man and have him back in a few hours. The name Con Air is a play on popular airlines like US Air. The official title of Con Air is the Justice, Prisoner, and Alien Transportation System, also known as JPATS. JPATS was formed in 1995 as a merge of responsibilities between the Marshal Service and Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. JPATS is a branch of the United States Marshal Service, not the Bureau of Prisons which serves as the enforcement arm of the U.S. federal court system. JPATS is also responsible for immigration and extradition transports, which are also included in the total statistics for the branch. On average, there are 715 requests for transfers a day. On a yearly basis, there are 260,000 movements. Over the life of the branch, they have flown over 70,000 hours with no incidents or accidents. Technically, this service is the only regularly scheduled government airline in the nation. The branch owns and operates three Boeing 737 aircraft, including a new 737-700 purchased in 2020. This system is for those in federal custody. Each state is responsible for its own inmates, but it can't contract with JPADS to move an inmate. There is no set fee, but to move an inmate in the continental US, the state and local agencies may have to pay a cost of up to $2,954. For the branch to transport a federal inmate, it averages around $1,350. The overall budget for the branch is over $75 million. The marshals on each plane are not only trained on inmate custody, but also flight operations, much like flight attendants. Although they aren't offering a refreshing mid-flight beverage, Flights are kept secret from the public due to escape risks. Inmates don't know what day or time they may be transferred, which can lead to confusion and frustration. Handcuffs and belly chains are used to secure inmates during flights, but passengers are not restrained to their seat other than the standard seatbelt. This is due to FAA regulations.